Hi. I've always wondered about tuning down to E flat. Uh, I prefer to do it. I know that obviously the strings are looser. Um, the sound is definitely heavier because, of course, you know it's a half step lower in pitch. And as we know, distortion pedals, amps distorting, and all of that, speakers reacting everything. When you lower the pitch, you're uh, lowering the frequencies that are going into the system. So, of course, the tone coming out is going to be different. You know, um, so, like, I mean, a Strat with pickups with a certain frequency versus a Les Paul with pickups of a certain frequency into the exact same, uh, everything else down the line from the chord, you know, plugging into the guitar down. Of course, a Strat's going to sound different than a Les Paul, even tuned absolutely exactly the same because of just the frequencies going into the system are, you know, being affected in such a way that the sound coming out of the speakers going into our ears, the end result is, of course, you know, going to be completely different. So I've always wondered about tuning down to E-flat, and I was wondering, um, tuning down to E-flat, but playing an E, is there really a tonal difference? So what I did is I have this guitar, and amp and everything, and, you know, it's a decent guitar, it's not a great guitar, and it's an okay amp, it's not a great amp. Uh, it's just, you know, a basic kind of setup, you know, that your average person might have. And I tuned this guitar down to E-flat, slapped a capo on the first fret. Actually, usually when you slap on a capo, the strings get slightly out of tune. And stuff. So what I really did was, and the reason I'm doing E-flat first, I put the capo on and then carefully tuned the first fret capo on to E. So the capo off, the tune is really, you know, the guitar is really tuned to E-flat, you know, give or take the difference of the pressing of the capo, whatever. Uh, but I didn't want to tune to E-flat, then slap a capo on, and spend, you know, 20 minutes trying to get it perfectly, you know, in tune. So right now, with the capo on, the lowest string is an E at the first fret. Okay, instead of E open. So I hope that makes sense. So the guitar is tuned to E flat with the capo at the first fret. So I'm going to play something, then I'm going to take the capo off, tune the guitar up to E, and then play the same thing, and then A, B them, and see if we can really hear a tonal difference with both of the things I'm going to play still sounding in the key of E. Just one guitar tuned a half step lower than the other, but played a fret higher, if that makes sense. I think it does. So, so this is the E flat. Okay, so that's... All the knobs are all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to take the capo off, tune the guitar to E, and keep everything running because in one of my last videos people accused me of all kinds of shenanigans. Okay, and of course, you know, I may pick differently you know, whatever. Um, another thing that I like about tuning to E flat is the feel and the sound does make me play differently. You know, and that really can't be discounted. Okay, you know, I mean, if you have gear that makes you, you know, play a certain way that you want to play, then you know what, that's the right gear for you. You know, I mean, if, if a, a neon yellow guitar with lime green polka dots, you know, makes you feel like the man, you know, or the woman, you know, um, you know, to be, uh, you know, not to be uh, sexist or gender, you know, biased, whatever. You know, if, if it makes you feel good about yourself and, you know, makes you play better, then, I mean, that's really the the bottom line. So tuning down to E flat for me is definitely a preference. This is just a 
strictly curious kind of thing. Okay, so now we're tuned to E. Um, so it definitely it feels different to me. You know the strings are a little tighter and everything. Um, I don't know if it's just in my head, but it sounds like uh, the tone might be a little brighter. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, looser strings are going to vibrate differently than tighter strings. So the vibration with the pickups is really the you know the way that an electric guitar makes sound. So anything that's going to affect the vibrations of the string, I would assume is going to affect the end result sound out of the speakers. Uh, so at any rate, I'll A-B them and, you know, we'll see what they sound like. Okay? So, rock on. <laughs>